it's, it's very important to them to support our military and the concerns that they have. And when we first learned that there was you know, those type of concerns from others in the community, we were glad that Josh already took steps to make sure that this is not being seen from anyone that it could have. So um, that is our heart. We really do want to be a blessing in the community. Uh, I appreciate my son's uprightness in presenting everything. I realize that there's a lot of information with this that he didn't actually technically have to share. But he did that because he wants to be upfront, upright, and, and full of integrity. And he did not want anything to come up later that would be, you know, to look like there wasn't any integrity in this. So, um, I really appreciate it. Anyone else would like to speak in the positive? Please, let's try to stay on task as far as what we're talking about, the variances and whatnot. Maybe standing on call 2309, I'll be able to write more. I've known Josh since 2009, and uh, actually come uh, stay with us, my family, quite a bit, my son. Uh, I've been doing paintball, which is a singular sport, uh, since 1982, and been to a lot of paintball courts raised uh, my son, one of my uh, sons is here in the paint hall. And, um, you know, we, we went and played these sports on multiple, you know, uh, places. And every time you see these things, one of the big things that, that they're dealing with is safety. And that's the type of person Josh is. He's, he's concerned with safety. When we're looking at these variances, and, you know, he's trying to go above and beyond on all types of things that, he's, that, that y'all were already requiring. And they said variances that he's asking for, or you know, uh, that he's asking for considerations for, is you know, to definitely to, to establish this and to keep the community that's connected to it, you know, in, uh, protect their land value and everything that he can. Uh, if Josh says he's working towards this, uh, he's, he's uh, trying to protect the same goods he is. Uh, I'll, I'll share this with you just real fast. So, we, uh, dear one, and <coughs> Where he deer hunts, he doesn't allow you to go out and just shoot anything. He you know, he goes above and beyond to protect that area, even though he doesn't. He might not shoot the deer he's looking for, but he protects that area. That's the same thing he's trying to do with this: to save the in those variances and make sure that, that the deer are protected. Thank you. Is there anyone else would like to speak? Is there anyone here in opposition who would like to come forward? Please have one person and we'll go from there. Good. Adam Hill, uh, 3473 Farmers Way. My uh, property approximately butts up about halfway uh, to the proposed uh, variance zoning property. Uh, first, there's a lot said.
so this is only one home. There are multiple homes with either a chain link fence in the back or no fence at all along that, along that property line. As far as trees, most of those are deciduous trees and they also leave in the fall. In the fall, I had clear view throughout the entire property as well as my acres. So as soon as, as soon as the weather changes, the thick, green, luscious trees that you see up there disappear. There's nothing there to protect us from the lights, from the noise. A lot, of, a lot of things spoken about noise regarding the actual weapons themselves. I'm not so concerned about that when it comes to the noise. I'm concerned about 50 vehicles and up to 100, 150 people directly behind my home, dressed in military gear, carrying military weapon style weapons. I don't know if any of you have actually seen what these weapons look like. I did provide this prior to this meeting. These are what potential crowds and what these individuals look like as they are playing those games. There's been a lot said about it being mostly children. Everything that I have seen are 18 and older, up to in their 40s. These are all males. These will be people that will be only guarded by a net and 150 part foot barrier and my rickety little wooden privacy fence. While I'm not home, while my wife is at home alone, while my dogs are at home, a net just simply isn't enough protection. Yes, they can't take the stakes out of the ground, but a net can be cut with a knife. This is, these are 15, 16, 18, 20 year olds out here. A net isn't, isn't going to be enough of a barrier to protect us from, from what could potentially be hundreds of strangers that don't even reside in Todd Austin. The other piece of it is that this area has continued to be rezoned into residential neighborhoods. Just to show of hands, how many people are here from Crestwood? Uh, how many people are here from uh, Knights Mill? Um, even Be Bemis Road? Bemis Knights Road. Bemis Knights okay. Road. All Please. these people surround this property. Okay. Please keep in mind, as it currently sits, if we deny every one of these, he still can do it. He's just got to meet these. I understand. But it, so it, 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 it's not a case of we're going to stop him from doing it correctly. However, if you do provide him those variances, <coughs> it's that much easier for him to do it. And it competes on our ability to, to have our peaceful, quiet community that we invest in. Them. None of us, he mentioned one, one neighbor. I'm not sure what his relation to that neighbor is. However, every other single neighbor in our neighborhood has pretty much been against this. Only recently, within the last two days, did other neighborhoods find out about this in the area and decided they work against this. So there are more than, there are people here from multiple communities okay. in the area here. That okay. I'm, I'm gonna interrupt you just for a second. You and for everybody that's here, from the board's standpoint, your opinion matters, but the further away you are from it, if you are not a buddy, then the damage potentially to your values or other such, or the fact that you might hear or see something, if you're not a buddy, it doesn't carry as much weight as those that are close. And we, this board takes it very serious to try to protect everything we can. And that's why, I, I'm going to say it again, he can do what he wants in there as long as he meets. If, if this board denies everything he's asking for, that doesn't stop him from doing it. It just means he's got to scale it back a little bit we can still do it. We are already preparing for next week's meeting as well in front of the Lyons County Board of Commissioners. So, so, uh, but as far as the variances are concerned, we do feel that granting this variance will impair our neighborhood. It will impair all these things adjacent to our property, specifically anybody who lives along that property line. Uh, and we're going to substantially increase congestion in the area. Those words aren't built for potentially 50 to 100, 150 people every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, driving through our neighborhoods. I mean, you're going to endanger all, all of the kids in, in the area trying to traverse.
reimbursed to get to this facility. We are there so are downsides to it. Yes, sir. I'll let someone else. Hey, my name is Laura Kessler, uh, 3497 Farmers Way, uh, Alaska, Georgia. I live directly in front of the proposal. And um, about the tree line, it does have many gaps, and it is in several places. You can see through with, uh, with the leaves on. And then, like he said, uh, we're worried also about the lights glaring in the back of our homes. Uh, without increased buffer, without a better fence, my fence is going to be the only thing that can get damaged. What if my fence falls down? It's on my my responsibility to build it up or build it higher to combat him when he's coming in. I'd like to read, it shall be the responsibility of the applicant seeking relief to assume the burden of proof and rebut the presumption by presenting sufficient facts and evidence to explain how the proposed appeal or variance is consistent with the general spirit and intent of the LDR and the comprehensive plan. I do not believe that our neighborhood property values will stay the same. We see turnover like this because we are heavily military. When we rely on our houses that snatch up so when we leave, it's not vacant. Our property stays in good repair and the values stay up. I would not have bought my house, and I, and I, I can guarantee everyone on Farmers Way who signed the petition, they would not have bought their house with a property with a business like that behind. It needs every variance in there to stay, to give us some fighting chance to sell our home. I bought my home before it went on the market. I told the realtor, when there's somebody that asks you they want to sell their house, it's a safe, huge, small community with a 10 inch out of the base. They turn over. If you won't see the turnover, they'll sit, the property values will go down, and it will affect the entire area. And um, number seven. The requested variance will, will not be inconsistent with the general spirit and intent. We have Freedom Park. There's a miracle in the park there. I have a child who has special needs. That is not going to help me sell a home. It is not going to help my family live in peace and tranquility. I bought the house, and I find it offensive that someone can afterwards come in and disrupt my harmony and my peace of my present. Thank you. I live on 3320 years back there. That's right in the front row back there. I've lived there for seven years. The seven years I've fought with the speed that went down the highway in front of my house. There's just no traffic or no business on there. Especially at Walmart's down there, it's even worse. Now, I've got four kids or grown kids and grandkids. Now, you're asking me, but you always pull up in my driveway and look at me in my yard. I'm going to say, veteran. So, yeah, when they say veterans, you all are some of the experience different things in life. Come back and say you can count for one by saying, but if you wouldn't do what somebody else would do, you can't. I'm sorry. It took me a long time to find that place because it is an RA zone. I can enlarge my family in my life. Now you're telling me I can't because I still got to let my people come in now, putting in my driveway and telling me I'm wrong with looking at them and in my driveway because I don't want it. That's all I said. So they were quick from everybody. Sorry, can I have the name for the record, please? Danley Fudge, man. So you question everybody. My name is Eric Roush. I live at 3470 Nemus Knox Academy Road. My property is the entire road frontage uh, on Nemus Knox Academy Road, the entire distance of this property uh, in question, and on my mother's property run abuts the subject property all down the southern boundary of that property. Yes, I did have a conversation with Mr. Jason. I wanted a description of what he was doing <coughs> on the property. He was a very nice gentleman. It was a very polite conversation. I never said that it would not affect values in the area just so you know, okay? Now, I, no one's more familiar with that property than I am. That is a family farm a whole lot. I've been on that property everywhere. You can see through those trees with some depth back in that property. I mean, it's just, you can't. Also, the home where, where his, uh, 
parents will live and, and brothers and such, is visible completely from the front of the road. If there is a pro shop in front of that house, it is completely visible as well as the parking lot from the road. Your conversation about the netting running all the way to the edge of the pro shop across the front of the property you would extend the netting all out from the wood lines into an open field area. There is a pond right there as well, but it is not wood. I believe that the, the boundary, the buffer zone, should at least be the minimum across the front of that road to simply uh, detour from the vision of the uh, uh, usage of that property as well as the uh, storage pods that will be placed in there and any other obstacles that, that might be placed in there in order to play the game. Also, I would like to have the boundary on the southern side along that creek line be a minimum of what it should be for the same very reasons as we own that property it connects to that uh, line. That's what I have to say in the uh, vision of the variance. Thank you very much. Anyone else would like to speak? Great day to there. This is 30 versus 1 on his way. You asked a couple questions earlier about how far you can shoot. A couple miles, you can get them to go 375 feet. So 150 foot buffer is quite a good of a buffer as we thought. And they can also shoot around 20 rounds a second. So it's a lot of plastic. He said biodegradable uh, pellets. Well, they can take a week up to a year to dispose, um, depending upon the natural so rain, sunshine, hopefully. Um, talking about six houses, so that's $1.4 million worth of property value if they were to play it right now. Um, 2.8 is the whole, the whole line there. Um, I would not have bought my house. I don't know. I've been in the military 18 years. I have, there's actually neighbors here, I have left our kids playing with that. They like to play on trampoline. A gun that can shoot 375 feet, and I have a 150 foot buffer, that map doesn't have that to safety to me. He mentioned 60 people signed this petition, right? We're talking about 50 parking spot, all the time. Which means that this business could potentially be bigger than what he thinks it is, which increases even more traffic through this area. Which once again goes back to that number five. So property values and the congestion along with safety. I, I don't see how we can grant variances for this. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Charles Wright. I live in 3660 yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> I'm against all the var variances. Trying to settle this with this guy. Uh, we need all the protection that we can have in that place. If ever was intended for that problem in the paintball of a shooting match over there. Uh, he talked about variances on the uh, lighting and stuff. Solar. You don't have solar power at night. So he's going to have to run some electrical lines and like put up some poles. Uh, the buffers are not big enough. They're, y'all are already allowing them variances before we even get here. No, sir. Nothing has been allowed yet. Now let's let's get get all this straight. He is asking for variances. Nothing has been granted. Nothing has been done. Okay. 
And you said we, he, he, already, he has the right to put this in. If he meets every one of these, if we deny every one of these well, I'm, I'm, I'm he can still do what he wants to do. He's got to do it within those confines. Okay, I want the buffer. The buffer's got to be, it should be more than that. I, mean, I said 350. If you look on the internet, there are deaths associated with paintball shooting. There are deaths associated with any type of shooting that we have in the United States. There's deaths involved. Uh, paintball people, they, 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 do. they look like uh, SWAT teams. You seen that? Yes, sir. And please, let's let's get back on tape. Okay, what we're, okay so let's talk about everything that they want to talk about. What you're bringing to us, other people have brought the same information to us. Did what I can tell you about the desk. Proceed, oh, sir. Put the same procedure on everybody. We are trying to, to deal with everybody that we can. Landscape. We talk about landscape. We talk about trees. A tree can be an oak tree this tall, so it can be one 40 foot tall. <coughs> What's it got to have there? Are you going to count every little tree that grows in there? There are specifications in the landscape <laughs> ordinance to tell you what size the trees have to be to be counted. He came, there's still an ill prepared if anybody I've ever seen. If, if he, if he had not have a gun, he could shoot in here so we could hear it. I would not have allowed that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you allow it out there. Again, again. He, my, my wife and I have 37 acres on this road in front of me. I have a perfect, legitimate ride. And I have, in years past, because all that property were uh, uh, Crestwood and everything it was in my family's, my wife's family. They developed all that. And I've hunted all over there. And I have a perfectly right to get out there and hunt them in my backyard. But I don't because I know that anywhere I shoot out there now, there's a house. And I had quit hunting out there probably five or six years ago, or longer than that. And we talked about the parking. If he fills up the parking lot, where are people going to park? On the side of the roads? I park, I park to take a, my wife and I park to the sun to take a sign of the, to take a picture from the sign. And I couldn't get off the road because the ditch is right there. And I had a car going around this ditch. Here, here again, sir. If we deny, as a board, every one of these variances, He's got to put in the parking, well, which always, means he's not going to have the room. He's already so, admitted that the variances will cost him money. And that's his decision if he doesn't get the variance because that's, he's spending the money. But I say make it as far on him as possible. That's not what this board is here to do, to try to make it hard on anybody. Well, we are here to that's, look at the circle. My, that's my opinion. No, I've said it a long time. And we, we listen as a board, and we try to take a look at every opinion, everything that's out there, and every decision that we make. I've been out there since 1974, and there wasn't any houses out there, there wasn't nothing 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 out there, and now I got grandkids and all this stuff. I got I got to worry about there's enough to worry about now anyway because the traffic on this road has gotten so so bad that if you add this out there for another subdivision, which is likely to come up, that's what I thought it was, was another subdivision. But I'm totally against any variances. I understand. Yes, ma'am. Mary Beth Francis, 4339 Sunland Drive. Three things. Number one is, if you're not just small, please sneak off and go in those woods and run around and get some kind of little pond or something back there that they have to go. Okay, now what he, this man's telling us is that he's going to resurrect these. At first, we heard him say it's going to be all the way around, starting from that truck shop. But then I heard him say something about that the barriers on the end weren't going to be all over the place. They weren't going to be in the areas that were wooded. 
Well, would it didn't stop my kids from sneaking off and going into those woods. A fence might have stopped them, but wood didn't stop them. And if they accidentally, this thing, this barrier isn't there. You are taking a chance that some child is going to wander back there and get hit by something. That's what you're taking a chance of. You also say, is there anybody that can guarantee they're going to go back there every year and every once in a while and check that this barrier is up there and it's, it's well done? Are you guys going to do it? I don't no, think so. It's, it's complaint generated. It's just the nature of So am I going to have to wander off into his pocket and check if it's up there or not? If you have now, a problem. You, I want you to think about this before you make your family decision. That's what I'm asking. We asking will think about it, but keep in mind, Lowndes County does not have inspectors that they pay to go out periodically and inspect, and inspect all of this stuff. It's this just is a it is, this is it is complaint this is a thing coming up into a neighborhood. This is something that doesn't really belong there. Okay? What belongs there is it's agricultural and neighborhood. Agricultural is in farms and things like that. We understand that. Understand. This is not agricultural. Keep in so, mind, we're, we're dealing with variances. Right, so the variance is he has to put up the fence and and all the if, way around it. Only you can stop him from having to do that. If, if this board votes to deny each and every variance. On that education every variance, I'm saying deny the one about the fence. I don't care. I want that fence. If, I want if, the children not to be able to sneak in the back and go in there. And I wasn't sure if he said, is that fencing, is it permanently across all the areas? Is that permanently up? I couldn't say they're going to put it up during the times that it's there and then they put it up and take it down. I mean, is it permanent or is it temporary? And I didn't hear that's the a, That's that the question. netting, not the fencing. Right. Is the netting permanent or is it temporary? Once okay. they put it there, it's there. Okay, it's going to be a permanent one. Until they take it down for maintenance or other issues. So the fence is separate? I may have created that when I asked the question, was the fence, I mean, was the netting going to be there? Okay, so I was not insinuating that the fence would or would not be there. Okay, but the fence is supposed to be there according to the variance. He's supposed to put up the fence. He can only not put the fence if you approve the variance. That's what you're telling us. The fence is supposed to be there. The fence that would make the uh, regulations so call for a fence, and that's part of what some of these variances are. Okay, so he's asking for a fence. You say leave the variance go, and some child wanders in, and believe me, I look at my back, I've six acres, I have blueberry bushes in the back. I can't tell you how many times they see kids back there picking off my blueberry bushes. I know they're kids from the neighborhood. Okay, they just wander in, they see some blueberries, I don't stop them. But your children, they don't think. They think, oh, air slot. They're going to start sneaking in with their own air slot. You've got to know they're going to do this. You must have children or grandchildren of your own. So you're actually saying, it's okay. I don't have to put up a fence. I'm not saying you're going to. I'm saying this is the choice you're going to do. Not to put up the fence permanently if you allow the variance and say that you believe no child is going to accidentally sneak on there or on purpose sneak on there. So I have to say, I want you to just think about that before you make the decision. That's all. Or is it aware of it? Sir, hold on, man. This is Y'all look like I'm Please. tired and I'm hungry. So, uh, my name is Wayne Markham. I uh, live 3632 Cap Crossing. Uh, my biggest thing is I'm going to talk about number five. And I'm just going to give you some facts. I'm going to throw it out there. Y'all do whatever you want to do with it. But these weapons, they shoot 300 feet per second to 800 feet per second, depending on which one you get. All right? Now, a Daisy Red Rider BB gun, we all grew up with, shoots 300 feet per second. Now, you tell me 300 feet per second cannot kill a squirrel, you got it. You're crazy because I've done it. I have done it. All right? Now, 45 ACP shoots 840 feet per second. That's 40 feet per second faster than what these airsoft guns are. Now, am I going to say these airsoft guns will kill nobody? No, absolutely not. They probably won't. But what they're going to do is if you have a little child that wanders back there, you're going to put them in the hospital. Yes. All right? That's the facts about the gun. Now, the distance of the guns. They will, can shoot a maximum distance up to 170 meters. Now, let me break that down to you two yards. Because everybody knows yards. Not many people know meters. 
I have 20 years of experience in weapons in the military. I'm a, what they call a weapons profession. 170 meters is 185.9 yards. Now you telling me the distance from where they're shooting to the nearest house is less than 185.9 yards. I walk around that place every night. So then bullets, can they break can they break a small piece of glass in an in automobile? Absolutely. Daisy Red Rider can do it and she's 300 feet per second. Alright? That's my facts. I'll do whatever you want with it. Yes, sir. I just want to point out that he he, he did say wait, a lot wait, of facts. Wait, wait, wait. If you can't come to the lecture, sorry. Now, is this a rebuttal of what he just said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is not rebuttal. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Rod Evans. I live in 3467. My property directly abuts this, this proposed facility. My biggest concern is given the request for the variance being so close to our property lines and a 20 foot fence. I think it increases the probability or possibility at least of uh, an increased uh, criminal mischief, possibility of uh, even criminal mischief, given the fact that uh, this thing can shoot 375 feet, 40 foot from net, is not a return. We'll be picking uh, pellets or paintballs or whatever they're going to be shooting. We'll be picking them out of our yard, maybe. Out of our living room, we have to come to the end. That's, uh, that's my biggest concern. Mm. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm Jim Shaw, sir. This is 439. Basically, 439. Somewhere around. Okay, I'll allow us to go here. Basically, what I heard, and I'm going to try to keep to what we really want to. Okay? All right? Everything I've heard. I know you're saying that you can put property there or something like that, but if you issue a variance for 800 parking spaces, the neighborhood Walmart down the road don't have 800 parking spaces. All right? So this to me should be a commercial piece of property. That's not for me to say. I know it's not for you to say. But at the next meeting, I will be bringing that up. And that's the first thing that I have to say. And I hope you respect that. It's just that it's a lot, and I think what a lot of people are, are mad about even though he's trying his best, keep it out of sight, keep it out of everybody's way. No matter how you look at it, 800 parking spaces, 800 parking spaces. All right? Coming up Beamus Road, uh, Beamus Knight Academy Road, I don't know if any of you folks have been there. It's not a major thoroughfare. You know what I mean? 800 parking spaces, a lot of people, they're going to be there all day. Okay? I know you don't have the power to you know, talk about anything else, but that's fine. There was one other thing that was brought up here. And I think, ma'am, I think you asked, okay? You asked him about, uh, you know, covenants and stuff like that. Well, there is a covenant. Since the 10-year covenant agreement started in 2017. I don't know what it's about. I would like to find out. I don't know how to do that. But if you'd be kind enough to tell me, I will. I'll find out why. Because if you look at the piece of property, it says the covenant is in effect from 2017 to 2027. So I don't know what that covenant says, but I'd like to know. Whatever the covenants say is beyond the scope of this board. I understand, sir, and that's why I said to you, if, if you want to know what the covenants say, then you need to contact a lawyer or somebody that's in the subdivision, they should have a copy of the covenants. Okay, well, that's what I was, I was more asking for your help about that and where I could find that. Because obviously, covenants and covenants, I don't know what it's for. But normally it says, you can't build on this, you can't do this, you can't do that. And nobody else has brought that up. So that's why I'm asking for your advice. The Lions County Courthouse. The Lions County Courthouse, The D Verge, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Actually, a black chain with fence, it's not privacy. 
I can see completely through to the pond, to the goats, everything around my house. Um, I'm not as worried about going onto that property. I have no interest in going on people's property. I'm more worried about people coming onto mine if there's not a fence to separate because I look at people can easily come into my backyard. My husband has been a point just got back in seven months. It's me. Um, I'll have the cameras up because just to make sure that there is no way you can watch 50 people and what they're doing at all times. Um, people get there, parking lots there, they want to pull out their weapons. I don't know who these people are. I can see them. So focus on the various of the fence. There needs to be something other than trees. Yes, sir. Please, let's see if we can move on. My name is Jerry Grant. I'm a person of the fire right or second. We want a lot of information from everyone. No one mentions the traffic that is coming through there. Even though Mary Cabin Road is, has a lot of traffic now, you just imagine what's going to happen. Yes, sir. We're aware of it. All in, all done. Ladies and gentlemen, any further discussions, any questions before we try to do something? Can I entertain a motion on this? And I will let whoever makes their motion, whether you're going to do it on all of them together or whether you're going to pass them one at a time.
Thank you very much. I was afraid we were going to get worse. Yeah.